In this video, we visit Addo Elephant Park in South Africa, and it certainly lives up to its name. We see several elephants. We also see a host of smaller animals. Join us. Good morning. Wow, look at this sunrise. We're pulling into Port Elizabeth. And we are going to Addo Elephant Park today. Can't wait. Looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous day. Come along with us. Unfortunately, Don't the dung beetles are getting killed every day. Yeah. Oh, Not yeah. killed by the animals which are going to eat them. Yeah. Killed by us. Okay. The males got horns. Females, no horns. That's why they got big ears. Because they can't see us. They need to go to the water holes every day because there's less moisture on grass and more moisture on leaves. So kudu is one of those animals that spend most of its time by the bushes. And the females, once they're pregnant, it's eight months. Eight months gestation period until of kudu. So the kudu bulls will be like what I have here on my shoulders. So kudu's got the horns, the bulls will have horns like this, twisted, okay. The area that is now Addo Elephant Park used to be orange groves and elephants love to eat oranges. Now that became a problem, so they decided to kill the elephants, save the orange groves. Fortunately, someone thought, let's make a reserve. We'll put the elephants in the reserve and they can't eat the oranges. After some trial and error, some elephants still got out, but they made stronger fences. They now have over 700 elephants. They started with 12. How incredible is that? And the elephants are adorable. They're everywhere in this park now. It was fantastic to see them and some of the smaller animals. I was most excited about the dung beetle. That's right the little bitty dung beetle. He plays an important role. No matter how small you are, you're important. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Eagles, crowned eagles, tawny Perfect. eagles, you named them. You notice their whole legs will be covered by the feathers. But mm -hmm. these are the birds of prey, which are from the eagle family. It's only half of their legs which will have feathers, the other half, no feathers. Like the buzzards, the hawks, the falcons, the kites, you name them. You'll see only half of the legs because the feathers and the other.
Fighting for defense, for digging, debunking the trees, etc. etc. But you'll notice the one in front, it's a female with no ivory tusks. Mm -hmm. But in general, the, uh, the, the, the African elephants, males and the females, will have the tusks. But here in Ado, the majority of our females are tuskless and they were born that way. Mm -hmm. So the researchers believe maybe that's a sign of inbreeding. That's why they brought in some new elephants from Kruger National Park and from KZN just to mix the genes for the gene pool. But yes. And it's a bull, a male. Thorns, the leaves, the grass, the berries, the flowers, the roots of the plants, they eat almost all the green you see around us. The sense of smell is very good. They also got poor digestive system. Now you can see why the dung beetles will be after the elephant's dung. Because they get some food from it. And this elephant dung is also very good. It does help us for the bushes to stay this dense. Because when the beetles have buried that elephant dung, it also keeps the soil fertile and bushes are keep on growing back. Although the elephants, they eat a lot, but also the Asian elephants. Mm -hmm. And the other thing you'll notice when it comes to these animals which are feeding on plants, look, their eyes are situated here on the side of the head. They got the monocular vision. The antelopes, the zebras, the buffaloes, up to the elephants, eyes are here on the side of the head. Because these animals, while they are eating, they need to have a better view of their surrounding. Thanks so much for watching. I'm on an amazing adventure with cruises in South Africa and a world cruise that has ports in Europe, South America, Australia, New Zealand, and Asia. So click the Travels with V and Steve icon below to subscribe so you don't miss a video.